Red set a record for home losses today. Maybe that's why Marty Brenneman's hiding his face. Former Red Brian Hunter haunts his old team. Getting to Elmer Descends. Base hit gives the Phils all the runs they need. It's 2 to nothing in the third. Descends. Self-defense. Put the glove up. Make the catch. Wow. Pretty good. Jason LaRue with a chance to tie it in the ninth. Sorry. Reds lose a record 52nd home game. 2-1. to one. Now, second game of that doubleheader today. Check out the Phils defense to preserve a 2-1 lead. Brady Clark singles the right field. Bobby Abreu gets the ball. Wilton Guerrero tries to score from second. You are out of there, pal. Guerrero has his trouble as well in the field with the hot smash to short. Marlon Anderson scores on this one. Now some more love with the glove as Tomas Perez reaches over the rail. Nice catch. 5-1 your final. Reds end the season tomorrow. Bob Boone invites five of his coaches back for the 2002 season and not asked to return Ron Oster and Billy Doran. Let's go to Synergy Field. Jim Bowden pondering what could have been or maybe what's ahead. Third inning. Pat Burrell connects. Two-run homer off Lance Davis. That's a team record 198 homers given up by the Reds. Randy Wolf was sensational, blanking the Reds into the ninth as he strikes out eight batters. But he is one out away from a shutout when Jason LaRue singles home Ruben Rivera make it 4-1. And with the winning run at the plate, Jose Mesa retires D.T. Cromer on a grounder to first. Reds end the season, losing five straight. Four to one, your final today. It was a very disappointing year. Uh, all I can say is we're glad it's over. You know, it's, it's been a long year. We've been waiting for this day to come for a long time. Not to say that we weren't playing. Uh, we were doing as best we could out there. Uh, I, think, I thought we finished pretty strong, actually. The last few weeks we played really well. 